In this video, we will learn how to save and retrieve commands that you've executed in JShell. Like I've told you before, whatever you run in JShell is transient, it doesn't persist. Once you exit the JShell session, all those commands are last. Or when you type slash reset, it resets the state and all those state modifications that you made are all last. So here's a way you can save whatever you've done and recall them later. So I'm gonna start a new JShell session. And uh, let's say I, ha I run a bunch of commands, one plus one, 22 divided by seven. String str equals hello. So I have three commands over here. Now, if I were to exit the session and start the session again, all these will be last, right? There's not gonna be a string str variable there. I'm not gonna have int i equals 10. All these commands are gonna get last. So how do I save this? The way I save it is by typing in the slash save command. So this is a jshell command. And now I can type the name of the file that I wanna save it as. So here I say my commands.jsh. This is the name of the file that I wanna save these commands in, right? So the name of the file is my commands.jsh. So when I say slash save, in the name of the file, jshell is gonna save these commands in this file in the current directory where I've run this command, uh, the jshell command here, rather. So this .jsh extension indicates this is a jshell script. You don't have to specify this .jsh, you can specify .txt or whatever extension jshell is going to save it to whatever file name you specify here. But uh, .jsh is a good convention to follow because somebody who's looking at this file knows that it's a jshell file. I'm gonna hit enter. Now it has saved this these commands into my commands.jsh. And here I've opened the file in the text editor, and here you can see these are the commands that I have entered, and it has put all those commands one below the other so that this can be just executed in another, in another session. And here you can see that when there are uh, expressions like this, string str equals hello, where you're doing an assignment, jshell automatically adds the, the semicolon, so that's pretty handy. Now what's gonna happen is, if I were to do a slash reset, it's gonna reset the state, and then the variables are all gone. Now I don't have a string str and a uh, int i. Or you might even exit, and then open shell again. And now if I type slash wars, they're all gone. Now I can retrieve the commands that I've saved by typing slash open, and then the same file name. So I'm gonna do a slash open, and then the file name where I have all those commands sitting. I'm gonna hit enter. And then now if I type slash wars, not only does it create these two variables that I've declared, it also runs those two expressions that we have at the top. So you essentially have the same scratch variables. So it works exactly the same as you were to run those commands in the session one by one. It simulates that. So this is a way in which you can save and open your jshell sessions. If you have a bunch of commands that you've executed, you don't want it to go away, you can save it. Another thing that I do is when I wanna copy over my commands to my IDE, like Eclipse or IntelliJ or whatever, uh, rather than copying them over, over here in the prompt, I just do a save and open it in a text editor because the, uh, opening it in a text editor makes it very easy to copy and paste these commands into an IDE. So that's what I use it for and it works well. So here's how you do it.